Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode with me, Dr. Nokia, and uh, I've got a couple of good news to share with uh, all of you out there. Now, the first good news is that the channel finally hit 4,000 subscriptions. It's been a long journey, and I'd like to thank every one of you out there who made this possible. Thank you once again. And for those of you who are new, uh, I do cover a lot of news and uh, updates related to Nokia devices. So if you're a fan of Nokia like me, do consider subscribing and probably we all can share our experiences together. Now, the main highlight of this video has to do with the Nokia 5.3. A lot of people have been asking and a lot of people has already forgotten about the Nokia 5.3. So to me, the Nokia 5.3 was one of the best uh, lower mid-range devices because the price was good, the hardware was good, the build quality was good, uh, but eventually a couple of things down the line made it look like it was neglected. So a lot of us was thinking that the so-called Android 12 update would not be reaching the device, but the good news is it has finally started to roll around the globe today. Now, um, the update was first noted by Nokia Power user site, so a couple of friends over at the Nokia Purist site uh, also has said that uh, countries like Malaysia has started to receive the update and my unit is from Taiwan So this unit is from Taiwan and has also started to receive the Android shop update So uh, for those of you who are using a VPN trick I do recommend you read on the details on how to do the VPN trick properly Nokia power user site has details on it so you can probably give it a try so you could probably set the location to either Malaysia or Taiwan since both these country has started to receive the uh, Android job update for the Nokia 5.3. So as usual with my videos, I'm going to show you the live update process and hopefully everything goes smoothly. So it gives you a rough idea what to expect, whether there's any new addition to the Nokia 5.3. So let's take a look into the live update process of the Android job for the Nokia 5.3 now. So this is the Nokia 5.3. This device was launched in April 2020, came with Android 10 on board. Now it has a couple of uh, different configuration. My unit is 6 GB of RAM with 64 GB of expandable storage. And I believe this is one of the last Snapdragon 6 series that support 4K processing uh, when it comes to video recording. So in a lot of ways, the Nokia 5.3 has a better hardware compared to the Nokia 5.4. Now. Uh, it looks like or it looked like the Nokia 5.3 would not be getting the Android 12 update but rest assured that the update has started to roll around the world today and I'm going to show you uh, the live update process in just a bit. So just before I proceed, I hope all of you could see this clearly. Now this is the Android 12 update that is available so I hope you can see it. Android 12 update version uh, 3.4, a couple of general uh, information regarding what's new, a privacy dashboard, accessibility improvement, conversation widgets, and also the um, ironically still in September security update though it is November now. So this update is 1.77 GB in size and uh, we're going to take a look into the update. Now just before that, as usual, I'm very curious if at all there would be any camera improvement. So before we proceed, uh, let me just share you the camera version so we could see if at all there's any improvement when it comes to the camera so this is version 10.11.1510.01 so let's start the android shop update hopefully everything goes smoothly and this is one of the better uh, updates that we get so i'm just going to press restart now so uh, do take note that this update was not done through the VPN trick because it was already available and like I said earlier uh, two countries that uh, probably have this update at this point of time is the uh, um, for market like Malaysia and Taiwan apparently so more markets will be joining pretty soon so there we go it's booting up now so I really like the Nokia 5.3 because it was really like a very strong budget device it has a lot of good features something that has been omitted uh, on the de uh, on devices that replace it especially Nokia 5.4 so a couple of things that uh, made me uh, sort of uh, not really happy with the Nokia 5.4 is that it does not have 4k recording 
Um, it also doesn't support the Wi-Fi 5 GHz bandwidth, so it was stuck with 2.4 GHz, which is theoretically uh, slower in performance, especially when it comes to the upload and download speed limit. So on the other side, the Nokia 5.4 has a better software implementation. It has cinema mode for recording, which is not available on the Nokia 5.3. Now, the 5.3 has 4K recording capability, but unfortunately, that recording has no stabilization but it gives you the option of actually having the uh, option to record in 4k so you can always add in a gimbal or something like that to have a much more stable video recording so this is the nokia logo now booting up so there we go now as usual uh, after every major android upgrade i would recommend you to do at least a soft reset at least uh, so that the everything sets up pretty well and then the performance goes on so this is just an overlook into the update process to see if it goes into any hiccups um, other than that it will take at least a week or two to know any major differences when it comes to performance battery life and some other software related issues so if I do come across any I'll keep you all updated in my Twitter site so as usual, this will take some time as it is uh, going through the upgrade in the background. I do hope it doesn't get stuck here. Let's hope everything goes smoothly. So I'm not going to fast forward this video here because uh, I'm not going to edit any part of this video other than just uh, splicing them together to make an overall video there we go here it is as you can see by the phone and this is already the new uh, Android child build let me just key in my password there really quickly there we go so this is the Nokia 5.3 with Android shop installed so let me just show you as you can already see from the icons and the color choices uh, that has been shown in the device this is definitely running on Android 12 and uh, let me just go to this here you go updated to Android 12 1st September 2022 so it's already November so I do hope we do get a security update down the line so pretty much this is Nokia 5.3 running Android 12 everything looks smooth there are a couple of apps still in the background that needs to be updated but pretty much this is the experience now for those of you who are not familiar with the Nokia uh, or with the Android shop update it generally brings a lot of visual appeal but it also comes with a couple of uh, improvements and I would say a much needed feature so one of the features that I really like with the Nokia uh, with the Android 12 is the battery saver mode so if you were to go to your battery saver mode you would see the option to have the super battery saver on now this is sort of like a lifesaver because if you're stuck somewhere you've got a couple of percentage of your battery left and you're waiting for the important call or message to come through you can just activate this and this can probably add a couple more hours to your battery life and the good thing about this feature is that it doesn't actually turn your phone totally into a dumb phone um, you have the option to add in a couple of apps of your interest so that you could still use some uh, smart features and not totally convert it into a dumb phone so this is one of the interesting things about the Nokia uh, 5.3 running Android 12 at the moment for those of you who are not familiar with Android 12 and if you were to go into the uh, notification uh, settings here got a couple of interesting uh, features being added so you, one of the things is the extra dim probably at night if you want to read something without waking up your partner or not to strain your eye you can always have this extra dim mode on so a couple of interesting features that comes with Android 12. Now, uh, the main question here is that um, whether or not the camera has any improvement. So I shared with you earlier the camera build with Android 11. Now, uh, let's just take a look. Long press. So there is definitely an improvement when it comes to the camera firmware so this is a new camera firmware as you can see version 12 2022 so this is definitely a new camera firmware now as ex expected we don't see any addition of new features there's no cinema mode or whatnot so pretty much I, I would believe that the upgrade has to do with stability and maybe some tweaking in the uh, output of the photography or videography but uh, that is to be tested later on but for now uh, you would see that the video recording is still 
still have access to Ultra HD 4K but there is no option to choose any form of stabilization here so uh, it even if you were to go to video you know as you can see it doesn't record in Ozo so like I said the 5.3 has a better hardware but the 5.4 has a better software and uh, one interesting thing is that uh, you can always use uh, the Gcam uh, to improve your camera experience so this Gcam app has been there since Android 11 so let's just have a look whether it works with Android 12 now usually it does have some issues especially if, if you have major Android upgrade now as you can see the lights here for those of you who are not familiar with Android 12 uh, with the new um, Android 12 you will have notification every time your microphone or camera being used to let you know that the app is using it so just going to take a sample let's hope it doesn't crash now usually you need to have an app that is compatible with your Android build but it looks like the Android uh, the Gcam for Android 11 seems to be working just fine with the one on the Android 12 here just take a couple of seconds to save I believe there you go so Gcam works pretty fine so you don't have to find a new app in case you already have a Gcam running with your uh, on your Nokia 5.3 now pretty much this is how the Nokia 5.3 performs I'm just going to go to a website just to see how fast and how smooth it can download things so this is Nokia power user site so this is actually connected to uh, my Wi-Fi I can't see yep but this is connected to 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi but as you can see scrolling effect is pretty smooth app launching is definitely I would say about the same as it was on Nokia I mean with the Android 11 but you can see pretty much a very smooth experience uh, you can see how it loads now just gonna launch a couple of uh, stock app there you go camera there you go fast so do take note that this is the first time some of these apps are being launched after the Android 12 update so just take some time and like I said earlier some of the apps do have to be updated on the background uh, let's go to calendar so pretty much everything works smoothly uh, I've not come across any uh, bugs or anything that would probably uh, reduce your uh, experience so pretty much looks like a stable update it'll take a couple of days for me to go through to see that if there's any other things that creep in down the line so pretty much this is the Android 12 experience on Nokia 5.3 looks like a pretty stable update to me and I, I hope that you enjoyed this simple brief video I hope to see you in my next one for those of you who are new do consider subscribing and for those of you who subscribe I do thank you for your uh, time watching this video so do take care and hope to see you in the next one